Welcome to Garage Talk. I'm your host, Paul Humphrey Sr. This week, I got a good friend of mine, his co-worker, my man Brian. He's my guest this week. And, you know, when I met him, I seen his car, first thing I thought was cruising, drag racing. But Brian does something altogether different. So first of all, thanks for being on the show, man. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah. Now, before we get into the type of driving you do, mm -hmm. Tell me how everything started back in California, like car clubs and stuff like that. Yeah, man. We've been, uh, I've been in the car club scene for a while. Um, I'm, I'm currently out of here right now since I moved to Arizona, but before I came here in California, mm -hmm. going on probably a little over 10 years. Um, and just, you know, how the, those things start up. They start out by just basically a couple friends get together, they're doing some ride outs, go to a couple meets. Yeah. Um, back then, I used to do a little bit of street racing, you know. <laughs> Not anymore, I'm older now. You know, I got our priorities I got to worry about. But yeah. anyway, you know how that kind of stuff oh, uh, yeah. starts up. Oh, yeah. uh, so, no, we got together with some friends. Uh, finally decided that, hey, they see some other car clubs around. So, uh, yeah, we just went ahead and did it. You know, it starts off slow, right. three or four guys. And I remember one time, um, at one point, we had probably. Probably around 25 members with cars. Okay. So it was, uh, it, it was pretty cool. It was pretty deep. Okay. Um, the name of the car club was, um, was called Six Side Street Show and Go. Uh, matter of fact, I still got the, uh, that's, that's one of the original stickers right there. Okay. That thing's over, over probably 15 years old by now. Wow. Um, and uh, no one else has those stickers anymore because they, they've, been, they've been phased out with mm -hmm. uh, new ones. And uh, that was actually my car that I uh, started out with right here. It's a, 97 Z28. I'm sure you guys will see pictures of that later on. Oh, yeah. Um, but no, nah, man, we just got into that. Uh, started doing, uh, you know, car shows. Um, next thing you know it, um, I uh, I actually had a 98 Camaro Z Z28 LS1. Mm -hmm. I was all cammed out and everything. I was drag racing that. Uh, but being in California, the laws were a lot stricter over there. So it was harder to get some smog and all that kind of stuff. Right. So I sold that, and that's how I got my 70. So I decided to go old school. That way I don't have to worry about the smog issue anymore. Right. So um, <laughs> I did that. I got this around uh, 2011 is when I picked up the 70. Uh, got pretty lucky with it. Uh, it was actually a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And uh, he actually built the whole car in the garage. Uh, so it was, um, it was cool. It, it was pretty much done except for some, some minor stuff. Right. Uh, we did um, needed, some, needed some interior work. There was no chrome on the car. Uh, but pretty much engine, tranny, uh, brakes and wheels were already done. Okay. Paint was pretty much done. It needed a little bit of paint here and there, but right. it was drivable, you know? Right. So uh, I got lucky with it, real lucky with it. Uh, he did a really good job with the thing. Like I said, he built the whole thing in his garage. Painted it and everything in his garage. Really? So he did a real good job on it. Um, and I've been happy with it, man, ever since. It's been, uh, been good. I've done some stuff to it myself, of course, mm -hmm. ever, uh, since then, but um, it's just been good. Okay. So now, yeah. uh -huh. what type of driving? Do you yeah. do with this? So, um, when I got the 70, um, I wanted to do something a little different than drag racing. Mm -hmm. So, my brother was actually doing it first. It's called, uh, it's called autocross. Uh, okay. Basically, it's um, where you can uh, you go to a big parking lot. It's, a, it's an event that's set up by uh, companies, uh, event coordinators. And it's just basically a, a, a small course that's laid out with cones. Mm -hmm. And you just try to, try to you're basically racing against time. You're trying to be the fastest around that course, okay. um, and it was fun. It was, it was the time. It was you know a different type of driving for me. Right. Just um, something fun to do, and it, it got real fun, real fun about my doing it. Different turns. I worry about braking. Um, so that's why you got it sitting the way it sits. Yeah. So it's got the Willwood setup on the on the brake setup, um, and actually have a. It used to be the automatic, 
-hmm. but uh, I put a six speed uh, built T56 six speed manual in it now, so now I can you know roll through the gears, control it a little bit, a little better. Now yeah. you do any drifting while you're doing that kind of how you did <sighs> not not on purpose, <laughs> <laughs> not on purpose, but yeah, no, it's just every now and then you get the back end out and you hold it for a little bit. Yeah. But uh, nothing, nothing too crazy where I'm pulling e brakes and yeah. <laughs> nothing, nothing like that. Nothing. Just uh, you, you don't want to slide around because you're trying to get the best time. So right. the fastest time is uh, the the cleanest lap. Okay. So you don't want to be sliding around too much. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's so cool. So again, you're working against time. So yeah. uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna pull this baby out and you can get to show yeah, me a little bit about it. Do a little it. bit of uh, driving. Like I said, ever since I came to I told you before, uh, since I came to Arizona now. I haven't been doing much with it. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of been sitting. Um, hopefully, one of these days in the future, I'll get back at it again. You will? Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely yeah. will. All right, let's sure. check out the rest of it. Yeah. Start wherever you want to start about it. It's a little dusty. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, um, so pretty much when I was thinking about getting a um, in an old school car, I've always wanted to do you know the old modern technology on it, uh, the LS swap. So when I found this car, it was already done. Um, the, it has pretty much the uh, the motor uh, interior computer of a '99 Z28 Camaro. Um, Later on, uh, I went ahead and swapped it out with a, uh, it's a, it's a T56 transmission uh, out of a uh, 90, uh, 99S, I'm sorry, it's a 2001 SS Camaro. And that's been beefed up with uh, carbon fiber synchros, um, steel 3 4 shift fork, you know, stuff like that, just to make it a little bit more beefy. Um, when I did that swap, we went ahead and did um, aluminum drive shaft, uh, 373 gears. Uh, we put the long tube headers on it. It was pretty much a stock motor. So, as a matter of fact, it still has a stock cam. <laughs> one of these days, that's going to be uh, one, one of the upgrades. But, um, yeah, like I said, it has the computer of a 99, so it has daytime running lights. Um, uh, it still thinks it's a, uh, has the old, um, the old, the old setup from the, from the 99. Like I said, the orange, it has the orange lights that uh, come on during the day. Just like the uh, the the uh, fourth generation F bodies, mm -hmm. um, automatic headlights. When it gets dark, they come on by themselves. Uh, it's got the, it has, has a full interior too, of the '99. So it has the dashboard gauges, mm -hmm. uh, and even has the seats from the '99. Again, all this was pretty much done uh, by by my friend in California. He did this all of it himself in the, in the garage. Okay. He set it up real nice. Um, power driver's seat. Has the uh, power power push button trunk, so it opens up by a push of a button. Oh, sweet. Um, and it's got a pretty good wheel and tire set set up on there right now. 18 by uh, nine in the front, 18 by 10 and a half in the back. Like I said, it has the wheel with set up on there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's fun to drive, you know. Now, what what you trying to do to? I know you said you want to make some changes on it. Yeah. So yeah. I do want to update the suspension. Uh, it's going to have, uh, I'm going to go with like something like Rytec or the Detroit Speed setup mm -hmm. where you have the uh, four link in the back and um, full tu tubular arms in the front. That way it's a more of a, it'll be a be better ride for the autocross and stuff like that for a track. Okay. Um, and then eventually, like I said, we're going to go with the cam setup. I want that sound, you know? Right. Got to have that sound. <laughs> That's just what I missed. Back when I had my 98 Z28, uh -huh. like I said, it was all cammed out. So it uh, had that sound to it, and it was great. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, now, are you going with wider tires also, or what you trying to it's do? It's got 295s on it right now. Uh -huh. Eventually, it would be the goal to get uh, something a little bit fatter on there. Uh, that's going to have to go with it. Right now, it's about as wide as I can go okay. with the 18s. Um, probably going to have to go do some type of uh, 
a mini tub set up okay. to get it wider, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that would be nice to have in the, in the future. Okay. So I still got some plans for it. It's still gonna have some, uh, some good stuff going, going for it. Sweet. Hey, you know what, Brian? You look like you got a fun car. Yeah, it's, you know? it's definitely, definitely. It looks fun. good, yeah. sounds good, mm -hmm. and the type of driving you do with this car, man, yeah. is just it's pretty cool. Yeah. So I like that, man. I don't know. So anything else you want to add? I know you said something about the club you were in. Um, yeah, well, um, ever since we moved here, I moved here about going on almost five years now. Mm -hmm. And you know, when, I, when you go, uh, something's changed. Because I used to actually be the vice president for that car club. Mm -hmm. Um, and we had, good, we had, we had, you know, good times, but things move on. They've actually changed the name now. They actually have more old schools. I was, uh, the first old school in the car club. Oh, really? Everyone else had, you know, they had their Mustangs, uh -huh. tra Trans Ams, Camaros. <laughs> right. There was a few imports, but, uh, mostly the, uh, fourth generation Camaros and, and uh, Trans Ams. Okay. So I was the first one to get an old school. And then of course, after that, I think there's like four or five guys now that have, oh, okay. they have something that <laughs> one guy has like a. I think I think an old, an older. He has a Cornette. There's a there's like a '66 Mustang. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a Nova. There's a um, I think there's a '69 Chevelle. So they got they're starting to get into old schools now, you know. So I miss it. I miss uh, I miss it. I miss it going out, okay. hanging with the, hanging with the boys. So that sticker yeah. is a keepsake yeah. for real. It is, man. Because I think it's like I said, it's the original sticker. Uh, that's kind of why I've never take, taken it off. It's just. Been there forever. Been nah, there it's not time. just you and family that that's into the cars. Your brother and your dad. That's right. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I came home from the hospital from being born mm -hmm. in the '71 Z28 <laughs> uh, four-speed that my dad had. See, uh, so I was. <laughs> matter of fact, I'll show you some pictures of it. Yeah, yeah. So he had that for a long time, and he sold it. Kicked himself ever since for selling it. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so it's a total mess. But he actually, yeah, he actually has right now. He has a '70 El Camino. Um, beautiful car, and he's the original owner of a 1985 Buick Grand National. Oh, okay. So he still has that, and that thing still looks it looks perfect in mint condition. Um, so he he has some fun cars too. Yeah. yeah. My brother's got a Super Sport Camaro, 2000. He has a 2006 Z06. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, 2002 Z06. Okay. So he has a C5. It's all tricked out, cammed out. Oh, is it? Sounds freaking it's fast. Okay, so fast. it's just a family thing, huh? Yeah, it's always been a, it's always been a family thing, I guess. Well, that's cool, Always man. been a GM, GM family. Right on. Not, not that I'm against anything else. <laughs> right. Just the way it happened to be. Right. You know? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, thanks, yeah. man, for being on the show. I for appreciate sure. right it. Right on. Thanks, thanks for having me. It was fun. Hey, not a problem. Yeah. Well, this is Garage Talk. I'm your host, Paul Humphrey Sr., and we'll see you next week with more Garage Talk. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.